Hi there. Today we're going to be having a look at the Argus 4 camera from Reolink. This has got two lenses offering a 180 degree field of view and it's also battery powered. We're also going to check out this little hub which allows you to store it locally with inside your home. So having a look at this camera, it's got this 180 degree field of view provided by these two 4K lenses. Uh, it's also got Wi-Fi 6 and I would always recommend buying the solar panel along with this to keep it continuously topped up. Now there are two versions of this camera. The one we're looking at today is the Argus 4. The Argus 4 Pro offers the color night vision which you probably saw in my recent video. This one offers infrared as well as the LED spotlight. Uh, it's got a 1 slash 2.7 Im image sensor and a fixed 2.8 millimeter aperture f1.6. As with all rear link cameras, it's got local storage. You can choose to store this on an SD card installed on the device itself or with the hub that we're going to have a look at today. This is a great, now this is a really cool camera. These two lenses remind me of our eyes. We've got three spotlights, we've got an infrared and then our PIR sensor at the bottom and the microphone over here. On the rear, we've got our speaker and behind here, we've got our USB power supply. We've also got our QR code to be scanned to set this up. It uses a ball mount, which offers us flexibility for moving it around. And on the rear side, we have the SD card, which is well sealed with this rubber device. And we've also got our on off button. Located. So the solar panel is really massive, offering six watts of power and a four meter cable. Looking at the hub here on the front side, we've got our power button and a display LED. And on the rear side, we've got our power and LAN connections. And over here we have two SD card slots. It does come with one 64 gig card, but you can install up to two 512 gig cards inside here. The device is super easy to connect up. All you do is open your Reolink app, select the plus, go along, scan the QR code, and it will prompt you through all the steps to get it connected. The hub is really awesome. It allows you to store all of your events in one spot. As the other can. great thing about this is that it does offer file encryption. There's that beautiful 180 degree view. As you can see, it covers my whole back garden. Now, as you can see, when I walk into the frame, it will immediately detect me over there as a person. And when the spotlights come on, you can see it's pretty much lighting up my whole back garden. So this gives you an idea of the daylight vision of this camera. As you see, we've got a super wide view, but it's not that tall. Um, having a look at this, you can see I'm moving towards the center of those two cameras, and it's pretty good at stitching those two images together. So before connecting this device to Home Assistant, we need to enable our streams. So we go Customize, Network, Advanced, and we go along to server settings. And as you can see, I've enabled all of these streams to ensure that Home Assistant can access my cameras. Now, if Home Assistant doesn't detect your cameras immediately, go along, find the IP address of your camera or your hub, go add integration, type in Reolink, select the Reolink camera, um, then go in and type the password for your admin account on the camera or the hub, and then go down to host and paste that IP address into the host. And this will then enable the camera and connect it up immediately. So having a look at my camera inside of Home Assistant, as you can see, we've got control to of the floodlight as well as the siren. We've got these sensors for animal, person and vehicle. Um, we also have an adjustment so we can adjust the sensitivity on each of those. We can run a buzzer on event. We've got auto color or black and white, so we can select the day mode. Um, we can also have a look at the floodlight. We can adjust the intensity of that. We can select whether we want infrareds working or not. Uh, we can adjust PIR sensitivity. This new Home Assistant integration is offering us so many different options. So one of the things that I was really impressed about this was the battery life. 
within the app it shows you the battery percentage now once i'd had this running for about two days on the solar panel it literally got up to 90 percent so overall i'm really impressed with this little camera i love the 180 degree field of view i love the large solar panel which keeps my battery topped up even when it's not a super bright day and most of all i'm really impressed with the home assistant integration both with the hub and with the device itself anyway that's all for now you have a great week and i'll see you in the next one bye for now